What is going on, everybody? Back on it, Juju 2, Season 2, Episode 8. Um, looks like things are picking up a little bit here. I'm assuming, I mean, we didn't get confirmation, in, especially in anime. Um, if you don't see a dead body, or you don't see normal thing like regular humans that like are decapitated or something that like okay i know this person doesn't regen i know they're dead there's no latent abilities we didn't see any of that but i guess tbd for the moment i don't know why they would leave him alive um or not double tap the head or anything but makumaru is dead um i mean it was the gamble he went with you know he, they made a deal but there was no saying that they had to like honor it after the fact you know they held up the end of the bargain and that was it so i'm assuming he's dead and i don't even know how long it will take for the classmates and everything to even know he's dead and with what's about to go on right now who even knows when that'll come um to be known information um there was a veil placed i'm told that i'm gonna get clearer and deeper explanations on veils and whatever that like wrapped up nail that we saw at the end of last episode that get uh ghetto grabbed um i do kind of wish that they would take a couple episodes to go like really in depth and kind of like breaking stuff down i would love like a hunter hunter nen training type arc where i get like a good breakdown of like domain simple domain and uh veils and if like how specific are we talking are we talking like is there conditions on things that can make them stronger is it a is it can things be busted out by pure brute force? Um, because I was making comments of like, on last episode, well, if he's struggling with um, the curse, he's definitely not going to be able to take Ghetto out. So is there a way that he could just forcefully break out of said, um, said veil? And I pretty much got told, you know, he's got to take out Ghetto for the veil to come down. But I'm saying, can like, can there just not be an overwhelming amount of cursed energy and an overwhelming amount of power? Like, are we saying, can the most basic person drop a veil to keep someone in and, like, Gojo himself can't get out? Like, is that what we're talking here? Like, it can be that simple? Um, so that's why I don't know. If, like, is power, at the end of the day, is power power? Or, like, there are specific things that have to be done and specific things that have to be met and blah, 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 X, Y, Z... I have no idea. Um, I'm curious how bad this will be um, for the simple fact that other sorcerers can freely walk in and out. It's just meant to keep humans in. Um, I, I don't know what they're going for here, what the word on the street is, but um, let's see what we got. Oh! Hey! Ha. Somebody get his ass. Stop him! <laughs> yeah, why are they making him do this alone? And this is the girl from the first episode of this season. The teacher. What is this relationship they got going on here? <laughs> kind of freaking me out. Because this world isn't like a Naruto world where like, it's known that like, oh, there's ninjas out there, you know? Ninjas walk amongst us and those type of thing. Um, these humans don't know of curses and blah 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 etc who's the guy on the left he's the only one I am not aware of episode 32 the Shibuya incident Whoop! quick skip and I'm back in so the one that Gojo's in is that just meant for him So they know who that's from. Yeah, that's going to trigger the fuck out of him. <laughs> so they know who the transfigured humans are from. So there's a veil that's keeping humans from leaving, but allowing sorcerers to come in. Then there's another veil inside of that that's not allowing any sorcerers into it. Minus Gojo? Yeah, they yeah they couldn't go through that barrier. Nothing with energy. Mm hmm. So they're having people funnel down there and then pushing them back out is transfigured. Is the boy going with her? Surely he's got some skills. Oh, okay. 
Well, I don't know if she's going to leave him, like, at the top, or... Well, you know who he wants to run the 1v1s with. Well, that's a human, then. Well, that's a dead human. We know that much. Is that a human that just got transfigured? Just killed another human? Is that what we're looking at right here? Hmm. Oh, I'm both strong and capable. Yes, we know. No, he's just protecting it. He's clever. He reminds me of... Ooh! He reminds me of Jiraiya's summon toad that's always talking about how clumsy he is. Maybe he's just an insect curse? Bug curse? Bug boy? Ant-Man? Spider-Man? That, of, that offended him. Yes, you're a grasshopper curse, bro. What? Okay, so, but he's not been transfigured. He's a straight up, like, curse. Just recruited, working with them, working for them. Um. Oh! And it made people fear that. Do I need to, this background? He's gonna get his ass dotted up. I'm not expecting this to be a close fight. In my opinion. He's getting ready to jump. Man has wings. Interesting animation they got going on him right there. Because like... The curse's animation is different from... Itadori and the surrounding environment. Like, it's unique to just him, so it's, sta it, it's pop for better or worse, it's popping out compared to everything else. True. If you have to say it, are you? <laughs> he takes things so much. Just let him walk upon you like that? Like Goku and Vegeta right here fighting, just throwing hands as fast as they can. Everyone's just blocking, no one's really making contact. Damn typewriter over here. Oh shit, look at that shot. Thumbnail. <laughs> Thumbnail. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Don't think we even did anything crazy. We just basically just put some curse energy in our fists and that was about it. Do I need to know this Lotus information when this guy's never going to be in another episode ever this side of the Mississippi? So, like, is he just, like, Bat Boy? <laughs> like, he's just Towel Boy over there. He just, like, hands her refreshments and, like, holds the weapon and wipes it off when it's not in use and, like, hands it back to her when it when she's ready. What? What is... <laughs> what does he do? Can he protect himself if they get separated? Like, what's the deal? Oh, this is a very Matrix train station. Girl, can you see with that... Ponytail going down the front of your face? Yep. Anybody that tries to work with him isn't good enough to keep up. And now he's got people that can't even protect themselves should one of these curses run into them. They're just basic humans, so... Does he let them die, or does he protect them? But if he goes to protect them, he can't really focus to use his full... Oh, shit. Oh my god, they're just killing them all. Okay, so he's from the, um, he's from the same clan as the other guy, right? From the, from the sister school? I forget the name of it. Couldn't give you, you give me a million dollars, I couldn't guess it correctly. That shouldn't hit him. <sighs> yep, because if he goes on the attack, all those humans will die. Yeah, they didn't get close. Oh, fuck. We're going to see within the same season two different people be able to get through the infinity. No, he just moved. 
But I think they would have got they would have gotten through right there, no? Neutralizes any technique, so it was breaking down his infinity right there. Okay. I like to see ways that Gojo can be defeated, so keep hitting me with it. Yeah, if they're going to trap people in there anyway, he might as well just go for it. They're trying it here. The thing is, Gojo just let... I mean, maybe there's nothing he could do, but those people died right there, by the way. They can't see that. They can't see the curse. They can't see the curse. <laughs> Eyes are coming out. Hmm. Me in the prison realm. So, it looks like here, and I thought the best. Oh. Bruh. Am I him, by the way? Did I just dry click that to the exact shot that I wanted? Am I really him? I might be Himothy. Um so it looks like they're going for a similar strategy as far as um what was the Fushigoro I forget the guy's name that was giving Gojo the business there in the verse handful of episodes in the flashback. But a similar principle here of kinda like but they're, they're taking it one step further here a little bit. Because he wanted him to hold up for at least 20 minutes. I'm assuming they want... But he but the thing is, like he, Gojo already leaves all his stuff on 24-7 anyway. So is, is 20 minutes really going to... I don't know. Are they trying to use the 20 minutes to like wear him out a little bit? Even even if it's by a little bit. If it's by 5 or 10%. Does he think that 20 minutes will do anything? I'm not sure. Um, they just have him trying to like dodge and protect humans. Um, but I don't know if they're trying to... They're essentially trying to compromise him. But here, instead of trying to kill him, which I don't think they can do. I don't know if they can do. Um, they're just trying to kind of like lock him away. And they go from there. Um, and at this point in the story, he still does not know that... Gojo does not know that Ghetto is alive. Um, so that's why he... Because I was thinking, I was like, why doesn't he just go to... Like, you're hoping that this telephone of information gets transported correctly like why don't you just go do it but I don't think he can show himself yet um, I'm hoping that maybe if they do end up capturing him or sealing him that Gojo sees that it's ghetto like right that he's about to be sealed because like I said Jujutsu Kaisen has been straight you know it's in there with all the all the other kind of new age stuff you know it's same scheme as cool colors, cute and fun characters, you know, likable trios and things like that. It's no different from all the other ones, you know, with the My Heroes and the Demon Slayers and the Chainsaw Man and the Jujutsu. And you could say Chainsaw is a little bit different, but I'm lumping them all kind of into the same thing. Um, but like I would say for any anime in any story, it's going to be hard for me to take threats of the story serious when I know that Superman... It's not going to be defeated. <laughs> so, if you're not going to kill Gojo, if you're not going to pull an All Might, spoilers for my hero, and remove him from the equation, if his chess, if Gojo's chess piece is always on the chessboard, I can't really take a threat serious unless he's removed. Now, if you want to have him just get weakened, maybe he loses a limb, loses a little bit of his abilities, kill him. I can't see ghetto and whatever his ambitions are moving forward if something is not done with Gojo. Um, so we're just kind of waiting on it. It's the same thing with Saitama. You know, same thing with Superman. At least we see Goku get his ass beat <laughs> from time to time and others have had to step up in, you know, cell sagas and, you know, things of that nature. Um, so I'm very curious, like this, I'm very curious with this arc because again, I've heard a lot of good things about this arc, so I'm curious to see how it goes. Nothing too crazy here. We just see them them just trying things out. So I'm trying to, again, there's a lot of 
techniques and things pumped out here, so I'm gonna need you guys to break it down in the comments for me, explain it to me like I'm five. Uh, it wasn't a domain expansion, it was domain amplification. They're two separate things, domain expansion, because he's saying if you pop your expansion, he's just gonna pop his, because you've clearly already wiped out the people anyway, so what's he have left to protect? Um, so does it just boost your abilities? It's not a guaranteed hit, but it is kind of like a power up in the moment. But then he said it also nullify, like cancels out any other techniques. There's a, that's the second thing we've gotten introduced to this season that can cancel out a technique though, because we had that blade um, that turned off Gojo's infinity originally. And now that hit, that domain amplification, now does it need multiple people to do I don't know the specifics on that. And then what's that, I guess that nail or whatever we saw allows the user to drop a veil as long as that thing is up and protected. Now, are we saying that Ghetto can't drop his own veils without that either? Because isn't he the one that dropped them fail on Mekumaru and they went to go pick up that nail? Or they just went to pick up that nail after the fact and they just wanted to show it to us as a viewer because it looked like he pulled his veil down after he pulled the nail or whatever we want to say that is. Um, so yeah, very interesting. A lot of floating questions. Um, some cool shots that we had. Nothing too crazy. We'll just kind of see, like, again, whatever ends up happening with Gojo, we'll have to see what they decide to do with that. Um, go from there. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, subscribe, and as always...